Next we will talk about multiplication and division with mixed numbers and we'll do multiplication first. So we'll look at some examples and in all of these the approach will be the same. We'll take a mixed number and we will convert it to an improper fraction and then we can multiply the fractions using the rules we already know for multiplying fractions. So we'll basically convert this into a type of problem that we've done before. So let's do this first one. We start off by converting the three and a third to a mixed number. So we do three times three is nine, plus one is 10 over three. So this problem can be rewritten as 10 thirds times four fifths. And then this is something you already know how to do. You multiply the numerators, 10 times four is 40, and multiply the denominators. Three times five is 15. And then the result here can be simplified. The numerator and denominator are both divisible by five, so let's do that. And 40 divided by five is eight, and 15 divided by five is three. So eight thirds is the answer, and that's correct. But since the problem was stated as a mixed number, let's go ahead and put the answer as a mixed number. So 8 thirds, you can probably see, is the same as 2 and 2 thirds. Okay, another example, 5 sixths times 2 and a half. Let's rewrite this as one fraction times another. So we'll take the two and a half and convert it to an improper fraction. 5 sixths stays the same times, then instead of, instead of writing two and a half here, I'll think two times two is four, plus one is five, over two. So five sixths times five halves. And then multiply the numerators, that gives me 25 up here, and multiply the denominators, six times two is 12, 25 twelfths. And once again, since we had the original problem stated as a mixed number here, uh, or original problem involved a mixed number, we'll write the answer as a mixed number. This is two and one twelfth. Okay, two more examples. Both of these in, involve multiplying two mixed numbers. So what we do here is we convert each of them to an improper fraction. So two times one is two, plus one is three, one and a half is the same as three halves, times, and then here we do three times two is six, plus one is seven. Seven thirds, three halves times seven thirds. This is seven times three is 21 over two times three is six, 21 sixth. Now each of these numbers here is divisible by three. So let's divide the top by three and divide the bottom by three. And 21 divided by 3 is 7, 6 divided by 3 is 2. So this is 7 over 2, which could also be written as 3 and a half. And down here, 4 and a fourth times 2 and a half. 4 and a fourth, 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1 is 17. So that's 17 over 4 times 2 and a half. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, over 2, 5 halves. So 17 times 5, that's 85, over 4 times 2 is 8. And then you might be able to convert this to uh, a mixed number in your head. When, when I see this right here, I, I think, if, if I want to convert this to a mixed number, when I see this, I think... 80 eighths plus 5 eighths. And 80 over 8, that's easy, right? 80 divided by 8 is 10, so that's 10 right there plus 5 eighths. So this is 10 and 5 eighths. Okay, and two more examples, and in both of these two examples, I want to show you that simplifying before you do the multiplication can make the work a lot easier. And that's, of course, is a technique we've seen before, but we'll see it apply in this case as well. So first, we rewrite these as improper fractions. So three times two is six, plus two is eight over three, that's eight thirds, 
times 4 times 1 is 4 plus 3 is 7 over 4 that's 7 over 4 and now before I multiply we can simplify look at the 8 here and the 4 here that will reduce to a 2 and a 1 and that just makes the multiplication easier 2 times 7 is 14 3 times 1 is 3 so 14 thirds and we can rewrite that as 4 and 2 thirds and one more this one involves three numbers being multiplied but the technique is the same we make sure all of these are fractions so I need to change these two 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5 5 halves times the 2 thirds stays just like it is and then 3 and 3 fourths 3 times 4 is 12 plus 3 is 15 over 4 now this would be a lot to multiply out but it's going to be a lot easier if we simplify a little bit first the twos right there can cancel they become a 1 and then this uh, the 3 and the 15 can both be divided by 3 so that becomes a 1 and that becomes a 5 and then that's pretty easy 5 times 1 times 5 is 25 and then 1 times 1 times 4 is just 4 so 25 over 4 and 4 goes into 25 6 times 6 times 4 is 24 so there's one left over so it's 6 and 1 fourth